through the cracks, we build our home If just the air was more poison, we could finally choke Suicide attempts are too late A living reminder of the end is A funeral march without the heart Proof that it gets fucking worse Born ready, born to die Born to lose, born to survive Born ready, born to die Born to lose, born to survive
And now for your weekly dose of metal. Here are your hosts, Morgan Danielle and Luco Blaze on the Metal Experience. Woo! Woo! Uh, we just heard the best damn pet shop in town by American Slang. That's a fucking cool. I want to go to the best damn pet shop in town. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too shabby. But they got uh, pretty sweet puppies and stuff. What town are they from? Uh, Chicago. They're from, uh, where was that place you were just at? Chesterton. They're from Chesterton. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and then we heard Sequestered Hearts by Dismalamarance. Woo, I wonder, Morgan, can you look... That one was my favorite. Can you look that word up and tell me what that means? No. Um, and then the band is playing at Reggie's Friday, 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 April 26th, alongside Varaha, Withering Soul, and Dusk. And that is for Varaha's CD release. Uh, it's a CD release show for A Passage for Lost Years. I am Luca Blaze with Morgan Danielle. Sitting next to me is Greg Master, Greggy Poo Poo. And we are rocking out with us. <laughs> For the third time, the third time. Three, yes. three, three. And nostalgia. Why don't you guys go ahead and reintroduce yourselves to the metal experience world <laughs> and what you do in the band and who's missing tonight? What's up? Uh, I'm Brad. I'm the big bald guy, and I play bass and I scream a little bit. Bald guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mike. I play guitar. I'm Eric. I'm the guy with the afro who also plays guitar. You have tattoos, and screams. Mike. I have tattoos. tattoos. Mike's the guy with the tattoos. You got tattoos. a new pineapple one. I got, got a pineapple tattoo. tattoo. Got a pineapple tattoo. That's He's pretty sweet. Where is it at? It. On his butt. Nice. I got yep. it on my penis. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. I almost didn't recognize you with the hat on. Yeah. I almost didn't recognize you with Take the pineapple it's tattoo. Oh my for gosh. Me to handle the hair these days. Hair's too hard to handle. Yeah, he hasn't cut it since. Last I haven't time. cut it for like three years. Oh, we're missing Dakota. Yeah, he's at a he's, he's at a dentist appointment. He set up a dentist appointment. <laughs> wow. On purpose. Yeah. That's. Yeah. <laughs> Super on yeah. metal. What a yeah. vagina wiener. I, know. I <laughs> hope he has a cavity just so he could get metal Jeez. put in his he does. mouth. For he has a few. <laughs> yeah, he's got to go back on mouth. Tuesday. <laughs> Brutal. He's been eating that candy. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> let's take a trip back in time here and uh, go over the past couple times that you've been on. Uh, couple, two, three. First appearance, you guys came out to our, uh, you were one of the, the well, final. in the final year we were at uh, our old spot, March were 3rd, 2015. Were the final band? No. No, we got kicked out of there in March. Uh, Who May. was the final band? I don't know. I don't um, I in March know. 28th of 2017 was your last time on here. So it looks like we've been going every every couple of years here. Um, so three times is, is a big deal for you guys to be back. And I actually um, have a surprise for you guys. <gasps> <gasps> whip out your wieners. So <laughs> yeah, whip if out you your wieners. Very, very gently mm. pick up your mic stands, it will unveil your prize. Oh, Greg, oh, pick up your mic VIP stand. <laughs> yeah, get no, that Greg, because it's gonna you save. have Fuck you have Dakotas <laughs> oh. under oh, you have Dakotas. there. You I have thought to it was gonna to be a hate message under How'd you get this photo? Yeah, How'd you get this photo? It was on mushroom. your Facebook page. Right. Oh. Oh. And that's and that's for Dakota, the extra one. Oh no, I'm not gonna give that to him. Yeah, we really no. I'll have to. He's only been here for two years. <laughs> well, so have I. That's That's not I was actually, I, I, I yeah, I didn't bring the guys it. recently saying that I want to use this for something. And they were like, sick. Mm. <laughs> can I see it really quick? I didn't get a chance to see it. So yeah. Oh, the cops well, are here. You can <laughs> use that for whatever I guess you want. So uh, <laughs> Thank you. That's if awesome. that means, you know, breaking the law, then yeah, exactly. I mean, my well, name's not attached to it. So <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Your but fingerprints are on it. It's a I free mean, pass to do badass. And they're under yeah. lamination, <laughs> so they'll never come off. Oh, thanks, Greg. That's how You're attached such a Debbie to Downer. it you are. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's catch up. You guys uh, have some 
new music that you guys sent me yeah. tonight. Yeah. That, finally. That, yep. that finally. Yeah, long, I was going to say, if we're going time. back to that first EP again, oh God. No. we would have yeah, a problem. We, we <laughs> the worst part is that almost happened. That almost happened. That almost happened. Almost happened. Yeah. Oh my we didn't God. get our We wouldn't be the first band that that happened to for us, so it's all good. We've seen it all. Um, so let's talk a little bit about your new recording process. Um, so these are these are final, or they're still being mastered, and this is kind those of those are the mastered ones. Master versions. We got them a couple yeah. days ago. We, so we had yeah. just situated. in time. So nobody's heard these before. No, we've oh. all heard them a million times. A few select people. But you guys have other people. Yeah, a few no, select nobody. people. We've a few. So not, this is like a, a debut lot. almost. Yep. It's just yeah. about. Holy really. fucking shit! What an honor. <laughs> so let's uh let's dig deep into it. So where did you guys record these at, and are these four songs the only songs on the upcoming album? Well, uh, we recorded these with our good friend, uh, Jake Farhang, who I'm sure you guys are familiar oh, with. Oh, Jakey Poo. Yes, sir. We love Jake. Yeah, of course. I, everyone loves Jake. He's a good man. I mean, how can you not? Such a cute, handsome man. He is a cutie. <laughs> is it? But, uh, yeah, we recorded them with him again just because, you know, the process is always super simple with him, dude. Yeah, he's yeah. really good at He yeah. knows us so well. And he well, knows how too. to get the best out of a band, too. Yeah, he really does. Not even between us, but just, like, every band that's worked with him that I've talked to, they always say the same thing of just, like, how – you feel uh, way more comfortable, like with Jake, you know, rather than most people that they've been involved with. So, and he has some really cool bionicles. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's also awesome. got a lot of cool things in bionicles? his Bionicles. Yeah, you know, uh, they're like the Lego things, but they're not like Lego. Oh, it's from like yeah. wow, oh, like yeah, fifteen years ago. I haven't yeah. heard those things uh, yeah. those in things. like yeah. forever. And they had the you sick guys, commercials. He loves them. Didn't you guys release a video where Jake was like, "Don't touch my bionicles"? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was Eric. That was me. I was fucking That's with his bionicles. <laughs> he was like, "God damn it!" Jake is like the Adam D of the Illinois scene. He honestly is. I, I hope that one day he gets the true recognition that he deserves. But you know, but for now, don't touch his yeah. bionicles. Yeah, for yeah. now, don't touch those. He bionicles. gets so fucking pissed off. <laughs> yeah, but uh, where's, where's, the where's the studio at? It's in Algonquin. <coughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's really. He just close. does it out of his house, like yeah. in his uh, in his garage. He made it into like a studio and like a jam space, and he's got it. It's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, he's got it set up pretty nice. It's so like on the walls, it looks. What's the name of his studio again? He doesn't he even have one. a name. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, if you want to be with working with him, you just kind of <coughs> contact him about it. You know, okay. he's, he's still doing everything by himself, which is impressive because he gets a lot, you know a lot done. Fuck but, yeah. But um. And then, so you guys recorded four songs with him? No. No, okay. ten songs. Ten songs? Well, actually, 11. 11. 11, 11, 11 songs. songs. 11 songs. We were going to have 11 on the album, and then one of the songs was just so far left field that we were like, maybe we'll keep that off the album. Bonus that's, track. That's yeah. coming out on the 15th. That's going to be, so it's yeah, we're just Pray. using it's that. It's a rap song. <laughs> yeah. It's a rap kind of so song. So we decided to not put it on the album because it was so jarring. Yeah. Yeah. And just put it as like a bonus. It's like a single. Yeah. Like a single. Yeah. Just to get we some, did a little video for it. Yeah, just to get some attention back towards the band. Because we've been like silent for a while now. Since we haven't really had anything to post, we've kind of been in limbo in the process of, you know, waiting for the, the you know, the recording to finally be done and all that. So then when did you guys start recording? <laughs> it was a while December ago. December 2017. <laughs> yeah. I remember because Dakota, he wrote it on the board. Yeah. And we always <coughs> look back at it. We're like, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. We just got the masters back this Sunday. When did you guys finish recording? August. Yeah, it was no. like late August. Late late August, early oh, this something. last year. Yeah. Damn. It was a yeah, ambitious a project for it Jake, was. and yeah. we took a little bit longer than expected. So yeah, those two things combined. So you guys just got all of the masters back. You said yeah, a couple yeah. days ago. We were supposed to finish, I think, before July, or in July. That was like the goal, and then we just got. You guys are shit happened. Yeah. Done early. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no <yeah. coughs> so then yeah, how are you guys two years ago? How are you guys releasing it? All digitally or are you guys actually making physical copies of it or we it. we've been debating about that yeah. cuz no one ever yeah. seems to buy CDs anymore. No one has like a designated like, Well, you CD do, I, I do, CDs. but the thing is the mass people they don't anymore. Man. A lot of people do like them, but I don't know. We still have so many CDs of the last EP. That and we gave like almost all of them out for free. You know what I've yeah. noticed work a little bit better for local bands is just the slip cardboard case. Yeah, it's yeah. like way more cost yeah. effective, and it's not like you know all you're just doing artwork for the front and for the back. Yeah, you know you're not like going all out with like a CD with a full booklet yeah. for like local bands. Just the slip case with the front and the back. I I feel like works way better. I agree, better. and that, that's what we did. We did that with our first album, but I mean even that we still have you know a shit ton of copies left over. 
and just in general, you know. And like, I, like it's I, I kind of feel that about it, but I have at least like three band CDs from the local scene that I haven't opened because I'll just go on their Facebook and let them do it that way. So oh. yeah, I part of me feels items. Like, yeah, part of me I feels like an asshole. Listen to every single CD I get from uh, local bands, uh, strictly in my shower. <laughs> <laughs> so while I'm naked, how, I will listen. How long to are your showers? That's how many CDs do you get? <laughs> oh my god, you sh- I have a tub full of CDs, all yeah. just from local bands, and I've listened to every single one of them in the shower. Do you have to stay in the shower? Uh, I mean, I like, over? when like I'm role. done with the shower, I just turn it off, but I look, I'm like, okay, I left off on track four, so then next time I get back in the shower, I'll start right. back up on track four. Does an album ever grip you so hard that like you kind of want to continue to the shower to get more of the album? Like, <laughs> I just grip like, harder on my Luko's penis. Been, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, oh, so been lying. <laughs> He's been keeping Rivers and Nile and his CD player for Ooh. quite a while now. That one, it's <laughs> just because... Yeah. He just started listening out. to you <laughs> When Owls Know My Name. That's a little different, though, because no. that album's like no. really long. Uh-huh. And for first that, off, it's not a local that, band. Second I off, don't. that album came Hold out on. last Hold spring. Your tits over oh, there. She. The holding. I uh, <laughs> I can't listen to it in the morning because everyone's sleeping, so I can't be like blasting death metal. Your while car. I'm do, it. Do, do it. Do it. I do that all the time. Just fucking you, do you it. You have a car. That's my life. I so anytime I shower later in the day, I'll play music. Yeah. So. Yeah, so that's why it's been in there for maybe a little bit longer because yeah, the CD's <laughs> a little longer and <laughs> yeah. What are you looking at me? We saw Rivers of Nile before they were signed, so I still look at them as the local. It's band. like a local. Yeah. I believe her. I don't know because we saw them yeah. live way before they were signed. So don't give me that weird <laughs> eye. Whatever you did. It took them so long to fall in love with the album, and it's my album. It's so my album. I just to want fall it back. in love with it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. You can have it back. I'm almost done with it. I'm on track seven. He's not almost <laughs> done with it. Let's play a new Undestalgia track um, where we can play off of the old EP to get us back familiar no, with. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> All right. So what is uh, the first track that you want to play tonight? Piccolo. Piccolo. It's the first song on the album. Okay. Too. So what's what? a piccolo, first of all? Because when I saw this, I thought That's Pikachu. Scary, yeah, yeah. You know, honestly, most of everything with our band is just random thoughts and ideas that we try to make come to life. It and Piccolo was just a random name well, that came to it's mind. It's also <laughs> a character in Dragon Ball Z. Well, and that's an, and Piccolo. an instrument. Oh, Piccolo. Isn't that? Piccolo. Piccolo. Yeah. This is the green guy. Yeah. I always. Game? That's it's what I think, though, game. when I hear Piccolo every time, is I always think of Piccolo. I but think that of Pikachu. Wasn't the inspiration. Thank you, Pikachu. <laughs> is it a Piccolo an instrument? What, what kind of instrument? What move do you think? It is an instrument as well. Yeah. <laughs> what do you I say, Greg? Know. I said, what move do you think of? You know, Dragon Ball Z move. I don't watch Dragon Ball Z. I just Z. masturbate profusely. <laughs> I just, <laughs> well, that's what I do most of the time let's, myself. Let's check it out. Just and crank we'll down talk on my about what it's about when we come back in. What's the new EP called that we're going to be playing this al- or album off uh, of? The album's going to be called Dose, yeah. Dose. All right. Here we go. Brand new. D-O-S? And nostalgia. Or D-O-S-E. D-O-S-E. Yeah. <laughs> Push back. 
time rolls on this little city boy and little anymore got four fucking kids to feed now and as the city rushes on the choices of his life come back to bite him in the fucking ass of mouth and still they come bringing up the old shit talking about they had my back way back before i turned away I expect that type of language at Denny's, but not here. Well, that's too freaking bad. You hear me? Because we're throwing it back to Morgan and Luco on the Metal Experience. All right, we are back, and that was a brand new track from Nostalgia off the upcoming album Dose. Dose. That was called Piccolo. That's Bellville's favorite song. That's pretty sick. So let's. Uh, there is uh, some definite uh, things going on there, storyline-wise. What? was the inspiration behind this um well basically the song is meant to be uh a story of just a classic young black boy growing up in the city <laughs> <laughs> everything he's wanted to be yeah. <laughs> no that's basically what it is Gang life. it's Eric's, just the, it's just the kid who's growing life. up in the city too, and too many like guns there's, <laughs> the, need there's the classic one. uh the classic things around like drugs and gang and stuff like that pregnant he's, at 16 yeah <laughs> And that's why the chorus is like, we pray for love, but hate flows in quicker, because it usually does. And then another another lost child puts his finger on the trigger, <coughs> and then he goes through the cycle again, laying down his brother, and then they all are the perfect sinners. I don't know why I say perfect sinner. I just It, it kind of rhymes, so I just went with that. <laughs> sinners and trigger? But yeah, 
Yeah. No, I don't know. All right. I guess, yeah. Fa- fair enough. <laughs> Sounds like it rhymes when, when in the song. <laughs> but that's basically what it is about. It's just, yeah, kids growing up in the, in the city and stuff like that. In Not wanting city. to be caught in the classic <laughs> cycle. Your, oh. um, your sound has definitely evolved over the years. Um, at one point, I know you were kind of referring to yourself as a psychedelic metal type. That was probably Eric saying um, <laughs> Dude, so we're psychedelic <laughs> metal, man. So what type of genres do you guys kind of see yourselves in or, or a style? Because there, there's different influences I hear in your music, and it's uh, a lot different than what a lot of the the Illinois scene has done. Um, so I, what, what do you think? I kind of think of it as like new, new metal. Because it's not really like new metal. Like yeah, you think of like corn or like Limp Bizkit. It's not really like that, but it's also not more of a traditional uh, metal style. And old, like I know that song was more of like a hip hop oriented song. So that so that kind of comes into play though. And we don't do that a whole lot. Normally yeah. it's either like heavy or softer, or just something out of the ballpark like that. So I I don't know. Just new new metal or. Just new new metal. Really say yeah. New new. It's honestly hard Double to say metal. because we do go so all over with songs. <laughs> half the album is soft, half the album is heavy. So it just depends on which song you're listening to. Yeah. Yeah. What would you call us? I didn't I didn't new, know new metal. If, if new new metal. Is that a is <laughs> new, that a new, metal. new term? No, I made no. that up. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm trying I to make it a new term. Can we do new metal squared? No. I think that's why she <laughs> was like asking cuz she's like I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Most people, do. yeah, we don't even yeah, know what to say. Yeah, we don't say, know honestly. what to say. I mean, it definitely is different. It, it defines you guys and you stand out because of it, which is a good thing, you know, rather yeah. than be saturated with everybody else that kind of sounds similar. That's one thing we always try to go for. I've been in bands like that where it's just like, oh, we're trying to sound like this or we're trying to sound like that. And, and it gets like, there's no like passion in that. At least not for me. I can't speak for everybody. But if I'm constantly trying to emulate a different band then it is there's no heart in that so you got to play whatever you want to play or whatever comes out so i think that's what it comes down to so over the past few years because what year did you guys start as a band officially 20 uh 2013 yeah 13 or 14 i don't know is that when you started playing together or is that actually that's when we started, started so that's when we started the band five years substance five substance yeah. five six years substance. how have you felt that your your music has has kind of formed, progressed, between, progressed. Thank you. From, or from now, regressed. <laughs> like, well, we've gotten uh, worse significantly. Worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, more than anything, I would just say that we just we just aged, and uh, we all kind of developed. We got like more comfortable with each other's tastes and things like that, and like things that work for the band. So we kind of lean towards certain directions these days rather than like going all over the place like we've had in the past. Like this album has a lot of things to go all over the place, but this album also has songs that are like four years old. Like so some of the songs that we initially wrote. Yeah. Some so. of these, if I'm not mistaken, are, are older than she was. Yeah. Which was like the main one that people like off the old one. Yeah. So it's like the first fi- four or five songs are new and the last five are old. Kind of. And the vocals Ish. have improved significantly too, like from uh, oh yeah, from how we were in the beginning, like yeah. just with like my own style, and then including Brad in with like his screams and Dakota's sings. We now. call him B Rad. B Rad. <laughs> well, I call him B Real. That's his B-Rad. name in the in B-Rony. the group chat. Yeah, B Rad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what people pay. <clears throat> that's fine. I can B-Rad. deal with that. It's better than like fat ass or something. Like <laughs> <Yeah>. that. So <laughs> you know, fat that's ass. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that. B Rad. Bill Gluckman, down with the bitches and hoes. Ooh. Down with the bitches and hoes. <laughs> uh, the the newer songs that you guys have uh, now, when you guys started writing that, um, did you find it easier to write together, or was there a... W- real quick before that, so you said older songs. Do you mean older as in they just haven't been recorded, yeah. and they're just yeah. older? yeah. Or yes. older as like they're re-recording no, we didn't older re- stuff. We recorded. We anything. recorded them ourselves. As a demo, they, it I wouldn't count. even honestly we consider that out. a real recording because we didn't put much. Time, we we didn't even use BPMs when we recorded them. <laughs> Greg, that stands for penises per minute. <laughs> penises, 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 penises per minute. Beavis, got it. <laughs> Ten four on that. <laughs> Perfect. 
Well, back to back to my question. So, yes. your writing process now, have you felt like it's become easier? Were there some difficulties? Well, uh, I'd say it depends. It, it depends on yeah. Normally, it's uh, me and Dakota doing like most of the writing for like. I'd say a majority of the songs. Mike does uh, some beats sometimes, but uh, between me and Dakota, it's honestly kind of easier to write now. We just got more comfortable with each other. So we just go through the cycle of me bringing random riffs to the table, him playing through them, and then us just hashing them out, basically, <laughs> until they're songs. It's sure, kind of you write. <laughs> What's your favorite song of the upcoming album? <sighs> Sign, probably Real sign. Bridge. I was gonna say sign, so sign honestly, or sign yeah. or. I are like we playing that tonight? Or, I think we're playing yeah, both yeah, of them. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, no, we're not playing it. It's our favorite song, but you don't get to hear <laughs> it yet. I would say sign or memento mori. Really? Memento's I like good. memento because it, it is okay. I actually like to listen to memento. Like most of the other ones, I don't like. Roombush satellite. Satellite's, satellite's just cool, so long though. It's so fucking long. Yeah, it's, it's like an effort to like fit through. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I do like it, but playing it. It's one of those you got to be driving around. And it's, yeah. like, <laughs> it's like slow for half of it. So yeah. I'm just sitting there hitting two notes. Yeah. Fucking, it's, it's, it's a good song, though. Was it cool if we play Sign? Now I'm really excited to hear why okay. it's your favorite. Sure. Yes. All right. Well, we'll talk about this one when we come back in. Here is another song off Dose. This is Sign. Yeah.
I'm Ryan. And I'm John. And we are Victims. And you're listening to The Metal Experience. Check out our full-length album, Volume 2, Inside the Mind, available everywhere. Well, hi there. Hello. We know you're enjoying your current dose of metal with the people at The Metal Experience. What are their names, Ryan? Hey, Morgan and Luco. How you doing? Well, howdy. Should you get through with your dosage with them? And find yourself still wanting metal. Come see us at the Epitome of Stupidity podcast. You can find us on Podbean, Spotify, Google Play, iTunes, and other places, I'm sure. Yeah, and it's cool. It's a cool show, I must say. Until then, back to these guys. Bye-bye. Woo! All right, we're back. We just heard Sign by a Nostalgia. We were talking about some uh, Rick and Morty during the break. Greg, is that right, Mr. Poopy Butthole? Sure you right, Ray Ray. Fuck you. Luca doesn't know what his favorite episode is. Favorite yeah. episode? Mm. Brad, what's your favorite episode? I said Me Seeks. Oh, okay. Mike. That's the fucking best. Mm. Have you, I, I don't know. That's a good one, I'm going to go Scary Terry because that always gets me. Bitch. If you say Pickle Rick, I'm going to be mad at you. <laughs> that's, that's, Pickle oh, Rick's that's a good one. Pickle, it's a good it one. Good. Pickle Rick is so old. Well, everyone, one. yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. That's not, everyone goes for that one. I kind of like when they're on the... Uh, what's the one planet that they have to... The whirly the murder, early, the murder planet. Oh yeah, the yeah. purge planet. Oh, the purge planet. Yeah, and they just fucking murder each guy, other. I love the guy at the the top of the clock tower or whatever. Oh, he's like oh. he's you reading didn't read the my story. story. <laughs> like he reads the, he falls down yeah. and fucking snaps his neck. You didn't like my story. <laughs> it was it was garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who likes the story now? <laughs> Let's let's try there. something. Morty just loses uh, it. Hopefully, this will be fun. But you guys have done Mad Libs before. Yes. Do you remember how to play Mad Libs? Oh, yes. God. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you, you want to do that with us? Do you, you can remember try to do that uh, the terms, adjective, noun, verb, what all those yeah. mean? This is going to be ridiculous. Nope. Nope. Just so you're okay. Warned. We'll just get ready because uh-huh. I'm going to ask and then I'll read. But here we go. So th- throw out these as we go and I'm going to type them in. So throw give out, me an adjective. Disgusting. Sick. <laughs> well, that's. I just said disgusting. So. <laughs> You pick the next one, Mike. Hold on. Okay. Now I gotta think of how to enter this. Uh, disgust. Uh, disgust being sick. Oh, There's still sick. sin. <laughs> oh, Anatomy Park was good. Oh, that was good. <laughs> still yeah, that one. Was I'm good. just scrolling through episodes <laughs> to see. Uh, Anatomy okay. Park was good. How do I hit enter? How do I hit enter? <laughs> Anatomy Park. Is good. What's the one where they're all dreaming and the people that's pop up? That's or the one okay, where give me a noun. Like yeah, 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 that's like a noun. One. That's, that's a where one. there's the fridge and it's like, yo, What's a noun? Uh, a noun. Like vagina. That's Person, place, or thing. Uh, d- uh, school. What is it? School. School? Mike. School. School. And Mike played Mike a school Hull. shooter What's in the Elite video. Uh, ran. Ooh. Ran? <laughs> Close encounters of the Rick. Oh wait, close a person Rick in the room. It's not Eric. Verb. Greg. Okay. Okay. now. Oh. An adjective. Gimp. Gimp? Right. Is that what you just said? <laughs> yeah. It's not an adjective. <laughs> no, no, what's an adjective? Come on. An like adjective. Jump. Jump. An adjective. Uh, an adjective. Huh? A describing word. Oh. Smelly. What the sir? God, stupid. I hope this is funny. <laughs> 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 oh, A place. Swifty? Place. Uh, Algonquin. <laughs> An oh. adjective. Um, gigantic. Big Trouble, Little Sanchez. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> you oh. should, a noun. You should have. Mm. Noun, Mike. Person, place, or thing. She. Oh, come what? on. Vagina. No, a person, place, or thing. Just type in vagina. Yeah. Vagina. She is that's not a, a noun. Person. Oh, right. Greg. Greg. I'm put Greg's Greg already in, in this. I already I, put him in well there. Well, then put Eric. Put him in. Okay, fine. He's already in it, too. Put, any, put Brad. Any noun. You want just Brad? Put Greg. Okay, Let's Brad. Throw, throw some Brad in there. Greg's now. a big girl now. Greg's a big girl now. Uh, Greg's a big girl now. You can make this funny. Uh, I don't sure oh, you Oh, squanch. <laughs> squanch. Hey, that, that's a noun, a verb, squanch. adjective. <laughs> squanch. Squanch. What's a squanch? It's getting squanch <laughs> in here. <laughs> How would you even spell Should that? You. I want to squanch you, Morgan. <laughs> God, I hope that sounds disgusting. 
part of the body. <laughs> Morgan plural. Mouth. It's S vaginas. U vaginas. And C got that one. Squanch. An adjective. Squanch. Like smelly vaginas. We already said smelly. Do a floppy. Floppy, yeah. Stinky. A verb. Eat. Eat? Is that Eat. final Eat. answer? Okay. <laughs> a plural noun. <laughs> Columbo. It's not a thing. Columbo. No, that's a proper noun, not plural. Man, do plural. uh do Taco Bells. Uh, ooh, multiple Taco thinking, Bells. I was thinking Taco proper Bell. noun. A plural noun. Taco Bells. Another one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you could do Taco Bells. Walmart. Denny's. Walmart. Oh. Whatever. I love Walmart. An adjective. Rigid. Rigid? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How do you Sorry, spell that? R I G I D? Yeah. I don't know if you trust okay. me, That's though. That's okay. No, Adverb. <laughs> What'd you say? Adverb. Adverb. I don't remember that is. Yeah, well, <laughs> I never, I never it could remember. Describes, <laughs> it describes. I've been lost this whole yeah. time. It's a describing, <laughs> like like word. running or. What's or the smelling difference between that and an adjective smoking? then? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, that's why. I, <laughs> <laughs> this is why it's I like never quickly, good at well, quickly, quickly. We're quickly. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the body. Oh, penis head. <laughs> penis head. Oh, penis head. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Do penis head. <laughs> Or you could type All in right. mushroom or, tip. Here we go, Or the guys. more proper head of penis. Here we go. <laughs> when Wait I will. for it. Wait for it. This is called Street Beat. Ooh. Kids street. on the street. Kids on the beat. Street kids. Right, I'm going to read street it. Street kids. <laughs> street kids. Luco, What's are up? you ready? Born ready. All right. Whenever people walk past the corner of Disgusting Avenue and School Street, they immediately stop and ran. <laughs> Hold on. And run. I it's love little that. Eric and Yo Yo Greg <laughs> <laughs> performing their jump street music. I like that. This smelly duo is famous throughout the Algonquin <laughs> for their gigantic orchestra of street sounds. Mm -hmm. They cling the lids from brad cans. Ooh. They Ooh. bounce squanch balls on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> While stomping Squanch. their vaginas. <laughs> 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 they use brooms to make floppy, sweeping sounds on the sidewalk, Ooh. and they use the handles to eat rhythmically against Taco Bells parked on the street. Oh, They're having okay. the time of their Denny's, and the same goes <laughs> <laughs> for the rigid onlookers who quickly clap their penis head at the end of each and every number. <laughs> they clap their penis head. Oh. And that <laughs> to us. was the endostalgia sweet We're going to use those beat and lib. some lyrics. It's that's a good song. <laughs> Black fit those that's penis funny. heads. I just scream all that. That's perfect. <laughs> Squanch all over my face. Your squa I'm sorry, so, uh, your squanch balls. Speaking of uh, street sorry. performances, sorry, I, I saw you guys have a, have a couple of shows booked currently. On the street? Uh, on what streets? Dundee Street. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Squanch oh, no. Avenue? <laughs> Squanch <laughs> Avenue. Yeah, Squanch in uh, it's, it's North. Oh, we're playing Squanch Rock House itself. July 6th with, with Victims, Alethea, and Synovio. Cool. That is nice. such a badass lineup. Yeah, yeah. we're super excited about yeah, that. Last year was really, actually, like, really surprisingly good. Yeah. So now with Victims, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's going to be way better. I think there was I, like I 300, 300 people. There was, yeah, there was close year. to 300 like last the year. So I, I think that's we'll insane. Definitely hit the yeah, that was, that was crazy. And Rock House has an occupancy of 400, so I think we'll totally be able to make That would be a that. fucking amazing yeah. if we sold out. That would Never be totally expected amazing. that. Fuck yeah. We're really excited about that. That's actually the only show that we have right now. Uh, I, was th I was thinking, I don't think we have any more shows. No, yeah, besides that. We were thinking about uh, doing this one, <laughs> oh, yeah. Crystal, Crystal Quest, Crystal Quest like Crystal Festival, one. but uh, sadly, it, like it with shiny it's on rocks. the same weekend as the Rock House Like show. a bunch of people sell shiny yeah. rocks. It's like a festival for chakras. people who sell gems and jam. Like hippies. Our, you know, <laughs> yeah, hippies. <laughs> <laughs> then there would be us playing. Where, where would that have been at? I don't the know. Hippie I Yorkville. I know it's an hour away from us. But yeah, Yorkville. That, Yorkville. Yorkville. That still sounds fun. Yeah, That's my type of place. It would be you got some nice rocks over there. <laughs> you got I do like nice any rocks. squanch balls? It would be yeah. fun, but <laughs> they're like, yeah, exactly. we have to sell a certain amount of tickets, and they're like seventy dollars tickets. Yeah, what? so we can't fucking. Because it's a three day <laughs> festival. <laughs> Just, yeah, it's, it's like an hour away. And exactly, yeah. 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 So come on, you know. We can barely get people to pay yeah, fifteen dollars. Exactly. Let alone sixty five, seventy. Jesus Christ. That's so squanching. We're not Metallica. 
See a mastodon for eighty dollars. I wouldn't pay fucking seventy dollars to see me. Yeah, <laughs> for thirty minutes. <laughs> That's on. squashed <laughs> up. That's squashed. <laughs> squashed up. You're retarded. <laughs> You're a squancher. You're squanching it. It's squ- yeah. squanch- 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 so for the upcoming album, do you guys already have artwork done and all that fun stuff? We basically got think so. most everything. Situated. Yeah, everything's finished. We, the, the last few weeks, we've been trying to just get everything hashed out for shirts and all the sticker designs and just every you know little small little end of getting the final album situated to give to the public. So now, what about um, the ETA? When do you think that it'll be officially released? We had a date. Yeah, we had it was a, a week before Rock House. July second. Yeah, July second is when the album's gonna be released. And then uh and then we're gonna use the Rock House show as kinda like also like album release. We were gonna show. do it sooner, but then we're like like damn this show is like a perfect fucking That's time right. to schedule it around so we can exactly. put it out and then people will get like, Oh they're, oh, oh they're cool and then they'll hopefully see us. So Yeah. Nice. And any music videos coming out for this album that you guys have yeah, worked yes, out? Yeah, we have two of them. Yeah, we're gonna one's on the 14th. Three. Oh, no, we don't have two. two. You're right, yeah, never mind. We're going to do What's a third, but... The third video is for that rap song that we were talking about earlier that's not part of the album. Oh, mm-hmm. no, it's the second one. Oh, Room Bush. So it's Room Bush sign. Oh, yeah, it is only two. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, it is three. Yeah, it is I'm three. working on the third one. Room <laughs> Bush? <laughs> Did you say Room Bush? Room Bush. Is yeah, that room bush. that's another song cleaner? that we brought tonight. <laughs> What is what is a room bush? Is that vacuum Again, cleaner? Uh, no, Eric. I remember it's when the weed you, you yeah. find like in the room. See? Room bush. It's like oh. in our rehearsal space. No one space, knows whose it is. It's there's like weed on the table, and like oh. whose weed is that? I'm like, I don't so know. It's the room so bush. Oh, nice it's community <laughs> weed. <Yeah>. Nice. <laughs> nice. It's fucking nice. the best kind. Yeah. Yeah. It's the room right. bush. It, it's usually old and gross. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> it can so be most of the time. If anyone left it behind, yeah, it's probably gross. It, it's probably squanching. Behind, it's time to squanch, you know. It's time to squanch. Bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Well, Luco. Yes. It's about that time. Is it squanching time? Oh, no. I'm squanching. Oh. I don't want to squanch. I want to squanch all over my face, neck, and chest. I'm not squanching anyway. I got to go squanch in the squanch room. All right. S- shut the squanch up, and we're going <laughs> to do this segment. <laughs> Now it's time for... Hey, man, look what I found! Only on the Metal Experience. Woo! I'm Luco Colombo, and I love big, fat cock. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Who doesn't? Who doesn't? God bless America. What do we got tonight, Luco? Yes. He has no idea what he's saying. <laughs> Read that. Hey, look what I found. Brought to you by our friends at Imprint Recording. Your music, your imprint. Visit imprintrecordings.com for more information for all your recording needs. All right, so hold on, pause. See how he read that? See how you rush it every week where you have no idea what the fuck you're saying anymore? <laughs> what are you talking about? Be more like Greg. Greg, continue. Damn, Greg, good oh. job. What? Well, I, good job. I, I, I did <laughs> good job, Greg. I did used that to work very, in a call center. Very so. professional. Brought to you by our friends. I did you fuck up. That's not how he. That's not how he reads it anymore. He rushes it, and every week he gets faster and faster. Because he tries to rush it, and then he'll take a breath and be like, "And this week we have to." Brought to you by our friends. I did for recording to your music. Your previous I did for recording. I got for all your recording needs. Yeah, that's how I feel like you do every week. But anyway, Greg, continue. You're awesome. All right, the band was Life Pilot. And they are from, hmm, South Australia. What I don't the know fuck? the town. Adelaide. Adelaide? Adelaide. Sounds delicious. Mm. Your town sounds delicious. Well, you can't delicious. eat it. Like Kool-Aid. Mm. Yes. And that track was Dark, Dark Goose. Well, this track is because we haven't played it yet. Aw, uh, damn it, Greg, you're doing so good. <laughs> oh, you messed it <laughs> up. God damn it. You better check out this band's official music for the song on YouTube, Dark, Dark Goose. Here we go.
Hey, come check out Small Town Mentality Podcast with your host Ben and Austin. We are on every Thursday morning with tips on how to be a more efficient racist. No, no, we don't. We don't do that. Also, best ways to bag your sister in the sack. No, I don't think we've ever talked about that. Also, we do impressions. We don't do that either. We do have some buttons that we push sometimes. What? And black people. Anyways, you can check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, and everywhere you get a podcast. You can find us closest to your nearing burning cross. No. No, you can't. Um, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at STM Podcast. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Addicted to metal on the metal experience. Woo! All right, that was brought to you by our friends at Imprint Recordings. Your music, your imprint. Visit imprintrecordings.com for more information for all your recording needs. That was Life Pilot from Adelaide, South Australia, and that was the song Dark, Dark Goose. And you can check out the band's official music video for that song on the YouTubes. And then, Jesus, I got pens flying at me. Uh, you can also read Cole, uh, Cole's review on, that, uh, on the song on our blog, Reviews from the Crypt. He just did it on the song. Yeah, that was the, the single that had come out that they asked for a, a review on. Okay. Okay. We are back. Morgan Danielle, Luca Blaze with... Uh, Greg Master, Greg, Greg. Sure Greg you Poo. right, Hollywood. Yeah, okay, Ray Ray. And we are rocking out here with Endostalgia in the back of Fitz's spare keys. Getting turned up. <laughs> oh. Why can't you guys do it in the basement anymore? Did it get remodeled? I, I remember the last the time we were Oh, no. It's, it's if it's busy during jazz night, we get so thrown we, the Yeah, basement. we do oh, the okay. show to... to uh, Twice a month up here and twice a month in the basement. Oh, okay, cool. Because every other Tuesday they have jazz band going on up here. So when they're up here, we're in the basement. Or should I call it the dungeon? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, no, we still do the show in the uh, the dungeon. <laughs> we just this week. Jazz next week. So mm-hmm. next week we'll be in the dungeon. Sure, you're right. right, right. Sure, you okay, Hollywood? Interesting. Hollywood, you son of a You two bitch. are pathetic. You're you're, your mom. You're funny. Your mom's funny. That's a compliment. It's a good thing. Hell Schmaten. So out of Schmael's all the, the years Schmuten. that you guys have been a band, what is one of the most memorable shows that you guys have played? Um, Aletheia Party or Rock House? Well, yeah, either of the Aletheia parties were both really sick. I can't, I don't know, it's hard to say which one was better. What do you guys think? Yeah, one of those. Maybe the Rave, too, the Rave and Reggie's. The Rave was cool. It was cool. Just like, I don't know, that time... It yeah. was just a fun time. Was a cool Wait, time. when did you play the rave? We didn't. We played it like wasn't like one of the big the stages. side we rave. Played the it bar was the bar stage. So you know what's cool about the rave though? Maybe I'll tell you off the air. <laughs> I will no, definitely no, no, no. tell you off the air. I don't know. I sat at a Taco Bell in the parking lot by the rave, and three different people came up to me trying to sell me drugs. But I know if they're coming up to me trying to sell Ooh. drugs, it's not. I don't know. <laughs> some, some guys. No, I said did you cool. buy any? No. Yeah, what, what oh. kind, if they're, what if they're coming <laughs> up, to, I don't know. If they're coming up to the car, they're not Ooh. trying to sell me weed. I know that, like, they're just businessmen. You like, what kind of weed? I don't want to buy heroin. <laughs> it sucks. sucks. They had the sherm, that lean, that mean, that codeine. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> He's practicing. Yeah, man, he clearly you know, some last, last week on, on the show, we had Reckless Redemption, and Greg was... Uh, Norwegian for the day, and I don't yeah, know what please. happened. To how, that. D- how does that happen? How do you become Norwegian for the day? Please explain. All you need to do is burn a church. Is that how you talk? <laughs> That's how we talked the whole hours. night last <laughs> last week. I was talking about burning churches. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, great. You have issues. Uh-oh. It was great. So I don't know what happened to that character, but whatever got in. He'll Greg's be back it. next week. <laughs> okay, good. That was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to create a Viking a name for you. A Viking What's name? a good Viking name? 
Yeah, give Greg a Viking name. And nostalgia <coughs> needs to deem uh, Greg a Viking. Dale, what's Gri- what's Dale, a, Dale Grivel oh. the Viking. Uh-huh. Dale Grivel. <laughs> Dale Grivel. <laughs> That's a real Viking Dale name. The name's Dale. Dale. Dale Grivel. <laughs> okay. Rusty Shackelford. Rusty, Rusty Shackelford. I'll, I'll, I'll take either Dale. one. That's the butt better. Viking. Do I uh, I don't fucking know a Viking. The name. government knows me as Dale Gribble, so I have to go on to Rusty Shackelford. There you go. go Rusty <laughs> Shackelford. You, you know the that. Viking. Huh. The Norwegian Viking. <laughs> Rusty Shackelford. <laughs> you you yeah. keep using my name and I keep getting the mail. <laughs> Tonight on the show, Norwegian black metaler Rusty Shackelford <laughs> and the Rusty Shackelfords. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna write that in my phone. Rusty okay. Shackelford. We'll figure something out. <laughs> it's Just from King. Yeah. What's been an embarrassing moment that you've experienced on stage? Brad, I launched a <laughs> fucking guitar stand at Rock House by accident. My guitar stand. How did yeah, you launch it? Because I did like a spin and I scooped it he up. Was trying and to it was, be super. I was cool. trying to be real cool and then. Like my guitar came up and I just I hit something and for half the song I I got all fucked up because I didn't know like if it was a cable if it was a stand how far it went if it hurt anybody so I was like fucked up for this like half a song but it, we have it on uh, on film which is pretty cool and did it fuck anyone hurt. up no, no it just but yeah we it's hilarious it did hit it somebody but it didn't like and it broke hurt them <laughs> and it yeah. broke it, yeah. Oh man, that was yeah. So then Brad bought me a new guitar stand. Oh, two months nicer. later, yeah. what a friend! Yeah, I was happy about after that. asking several times. So he just and had to carry <laughs> Eric had to carry his guitar on his. Oh, he has like thirteen guitar for stands. two he months. Has guitar stands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because he couldn't put it down anywhere because you broke his guitar stand. That's, yeah. And then there's one. He time needs some that, exercise. Uh, He's got that weak little arms. <laughs> That's true. There's one time <laughs> that uh, Mike like jumped off stage in the middle of us playing a song or something. Remember when you had your wisdom tooth pulled? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did do that. Yep. That was embarrassing. <laughs> That's right. I haven't heard about that. <laughs> Having the guitars just get off stage yeah. in the middle of us. We, were, we played our fucking set, and then they just started playing aerials, and like the Viking and wore off, and I was like, I fucking want to go home, and I just <laughs> left. <laughs> 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 like, my fucking face hurts. The crowd was asking hurt. for an encore, so we played. Yeah. Aerials, oh, and then Mike left. <laughs> nope, my face hurts. My face I got to go. Fuck Mike you, they, literally walked off They stage. were playing, and then I just left. I just got off. Stage. Well, there's yeah. only one guitar in Ariel, so they could have finished. That's yeah. true. They but did. Eric I didn't want to play fine. guitar. It was, it was, it was just awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. So wait, did you walk off like in the middle of the song or like right when the song started? I think like, towards the beginning. Towards I the was beginning. mad. I don't remember if you took your amp off, though. I think you just stormed. No, off. I just took my guitar, you shut it off, off and yeah. took it off, just and left. Off stage. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Where's that guy going? Yeah, but where was that at?" That was at um, Oasis? Yeah, somewhere. It was at... Uh, I no, it was no, at the no, other side. At the other side. That, that sober that bar? sober place for... Yeah. That sober place for sober. <laughs> sober <laughs> place. You know, yeah. it has the roof it's with the windows. <laughs> yeah, the you know that place? With the windows, yeah. Place with the windows? Is that what you said? Yeah, the place with the windows and the roof. Yeah. You don't know about that? The sober place. That's it's an Elgin. You don't know about that place? You got the roof and the windows? It has the guy with the face who works there. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, the yeah, name. The guy. <laughs> that guy. That we guy, call him. He drives that car. We call him yeah, Rusty that, Shackleford. Yeah, the car. Rusty Shackleford. It's a good car. <laughs> it's a rusty good car. <laughs> Do you remember the first metal album that you purchased? Ooh. Purchased, purchased myself? Yes. Or stole, purchased? Well, my oh, dad had a whole bunch, and I listened to those. Well, I think the first one I bought was Saint Anger by Metallica. Oh. I was like, oh, sorry, I was thirteen, dude. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Listen to that piccolo. Uh, <laughs> that Nine Inch Nails album. I forgot which one. I think it. Uh, I forgot. Oh yeah, it had I, only had on it. Classic. Nine which one had album. only on it? Nine Inch Nails. Uh, he doesn't really like Nine Inch Nails. Something. Something. Yeah, he doesn't even like them. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even like them, you bro. Even like them, dude. My first album was uh, Backstreet Boys. I remember that vividly. <laughs> and then NSYNC. That was and then off Saint of... Anger, I think. Uh, <laughs> and then Saint <laughs> Anger. <laughs> I got mad about it. In that, ang- in that like order. I th- I'm pretty sure it's like in that issues order. By Maybe like a Now 2, when, when those are cool. Now, you bought Now 2? I don't know. Now 2. <laughs> Maybe it was now, now 2, 18. Now yeah, 3. Now, isn't now it, 840. Isn't it like now 99. Or something? Only was on With Teeth. Yeah, with teeth, yeah. With Teeth. one. Wasn't so Backstreet Boys was your first album? My first actual album, yes. 
Wait, Which what? One? Are you fucking with Which me? One? No, I'm serious. Which that was album? like 10, dude. That's hilarious. Which Why? Album? Uh, the one where they're all standing there. Oh, <laughs> that's every Millennium. Album. It's like blue one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Millennium. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Uh, I was fucking 10 years old. I was 10 years old once, too, and I didn't fucking <laughs> go buy Backstreet Boys. Yeah, you you're not a faggot wait, then, aren't you? you? Oh, wait, you bought that? I M- had it Morgan's not 10, and she listened to I don't know how I got money at 10 years old, but I remember that was... So it was yours. Yeah. You were like, hey, mom. Bye bye is a good song. <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. I need to go buy a Backstreet Boys. I CD. wasn't metal yet. I was ten years old. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ten hey, years. remember, hey, three years later he purchased Saint Anger. Yeah. So also a mistake. Three Dude, years wait, later. What <laughs> happened with the Saint Anger? Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. My. Oh man. I'm oh man. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay. What's okay. been the most disappointing album you've ever bought? Backstreet Boys. Saint, Saint Anger. Anger. <laughs> 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 Maybe Load. I don't know. Hey, I load. Like, I like yeah. Load. You guys are stupid. You're stupid. Load's <laughs> great. You just don't, you load's just got like some good load deep cuts. Load and like the, the forms they good. take. The best. That's <laughs> terrible. I was very disappointed. I didn't even buy it. I stole it out of their uh, merch stand. <laughs> I was very disappointed. Uh, I didn't even uh, sell it. I just gave it away to I people. I was so disappointed. I also gave it away they, to just their, people. Their singer sounds like a dying moose. Have you guys ever heard the forms they take? It's no. like, oh. Worst. Oh. Worst. That's what he sounds like. That's Thanks, because Greg. they recorded Thanks. his vocals while he was shitting. <laughs> Thanks, <Yeah>. Greg. <laughs> You're all right, oh, right, right. Like to do okay, Hollywood. Process like that. Oh. What about you, Eric? The most embarrassing album. Uh, uh, worst whatever. album. Worst. Something worst like album. I don't know, man. I'm disappointed. Wait, like the I worst or most embarrassing? The, well, well, I mean, it. I mean, you didn't be embarrassed that you bought it because it was like the I, worst album. I got it. Subliminal the, versus by ooh, Slipknot. Fuck I, pre, fuck I pre-ordered you. that. No. I pre-ordered hey, it because no. Corey Taylor was all like, "This is gonna be our heaviest album yet." Yeah, well, I don't know why he said that. that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know he Iowa did. Was. He went on to the radio. No, this Iowa is after I believe that he said. I believe he said that. I bought it. I believe he said that. I don't. I don't think it's the heaviest, but I don't agree that it's the worst. Get the. Oh, yeah, that's like that album. album. Yeah. This is a 20, oh. 20 minute long argument you're about to have. <laughs> is that the third oh, one? Is yeah. that volume yes. three? Yeah, it's volume that one has Iris had, on it. I didn't like a couple of like the the, uh, the radio friendly songs on there. Like Blister Exists. But like, dude, that had some fucking good it songs did. on it. Circle is a great song. There's a lot of experimental <laughs> songs on that album that are super fucking awesome. That was the first Slipknot album that I picked up and. Um, cover really grossed me out really? i kind of had one. to like n- look past the album artwork like to actually get thing? into the if you picked up um, iowa first and listened to that before well, that Greg, you would realize there's a how difference much of a piece in age between it's the two of us of so i had it's to start different. somewhere <laughs> i really <laughs> like that one track that that like it's ending on the drums and it goes into that like sampled drum beat yeah, yeah. Circle. circle that yeah. circle i love circle dude yeah. circle's the so cool song, that's what i'm saying that's, that's such an experimental song and like that's so fucking sick and like I oh, really yeah. like that. I love that album. But yeah, like that has some really Pulse good songs. The but then like there is some that Pulse the Maggots just like even Duality. Eh. Yeah, I like Pulse the Maggots. Ma- I don't like and well. Duality. Duality is kind of like Duality is okay. Oh, Duality is good. Duality is a good song. Uh, when at you first, don't like pushing at first, your fingers into my penis hole. <laughs> yeah. Like at first, I was like, ah, oh, sweet. But then after a while, I'm like, uh, that's kind of dumb. Oh, oh come dumb. on, that song yeah. still holds. My worst CD that I ever purchased. Um, but was also great, but it was also absolutely terrible. I spent fucking eighteen dollars on it. It was one of the most ex- expensive CDs I ever bought. It was Macho Man Randy Savage's rap <laughs> CD? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so you made that? It's He's so like, oh bad. yeah, I told you to get it in the what? back. That get it in the cool. <laughs> like, what Google does it sound also like? owns William Hung CD. I bought that so at the same time, so it was probably like the worst purchase because that William CD was Hung. also like eighteen dollars. He's, he's like the original meme. I got you for three American minutes. Idol. He was the original he was dude. Asian guy. He was the Asian dude like, that used to do covers, but they were so bad on American Idol that a record company was like, we need to give this guy a record deal and make a joke of him. <laughs> and they did. And I bought that joke <laughs> CD. Oh, really? What is the Randy Savage one? Like, they like they make called, a lot of money. It's called Be a Man. <laughs> does, he, does he sound like standard Randy Savage the whole time? Is Dude, it? I'll, I'll play you some of it. It's <laughs> pretty terrible. <laughs> I need to know about this. Morgan, how many more tracks you do we have? three minutes. Two. Three we minutes. Got, let's play another uh, track, and I'll play some Macho Man. It's <laughs> so bad. Let's play Room Bush, too. Uh, yeah. For, you know, so you guys got we some. We also like this one. Room, room Bush. Bush. Room Bush. Here we <laughs> go. Listen to 
This is Justin. This is Dustin. Dustin's J and D of the so-called Saints. Or so-called Saints. Tell your boys. Or smell your boys. You're listening to the Black Experience. Boom. Hey yo, it's Troy Adams from the podcast Wrestling Society. Every single Wrestling Wednesday, we bring you brand new episodes where we review the best and worst of professional wrestling eras of the past, as well as the biggest current events in professional wrestling and mixed martial arts. Search for us on YouTube, where we have hilarious WWE Network watch-alongs, reviews of terrible shows, and other great content. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, at PodRest Society, and we're available on all podcast platforms. Come join the Society. Woo! I'm Luco Colombo. And, and we just heard Roombush. Rhombus. Yes. Rhombus. Rhombus. R- Rhombus. <laughs> Rhombus. <laughs> Potato, potato, you know. Potato, tomato, you know. Potato, tomato. You know what I'm saying. Garedo, balado. Smell, smating. Smell, smoting. I have no idea what that means, Greg. He made it up. He started writing down joke words like, uh, what was some of the words? Greg kept trying to say, hail Satan. So I'm like, smell, smating. (laughs) Smell, smoting. Columbus. (laughs) Columbo. Bus Columbus, good one. Yeah. Thanks, Greg. Smell smoking. Smell smoking. Morgan, take it Fucking away. Ridiculous. Greg's got a booger hanging out of his nose. It's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> it's disgusting. You're go, disgusting. Go clean your nose out, sir. I'm gonna go smoke with cigarettes. Go smoke with <laughs> My friend, he's seven. He <laughs> smokes. With cigarettes. So like, as like, of right now, where I can like everybody? Oh, so you like Boondocks too, huh, Greg? And I, and I, <laughs> yeah, he does. I, he I likes you. And I want. Yeah, and I want. I, I, I tell him like this. I like you, and I want you. No, we can do this the hard way. We can do this the easy way. The choice is yours. <laughs> What's oh. it gonna be, Tom? <laughs> oh my goodness, Greg, you get that boogie out of your nose. Good, because I was making me sick. He's having a mental <laughs> breakdown now. Um, where can everybody find everything that is on nostalgia? And then what do you have for people to buy from you guys available? We don't have anything we're selling now. We're all out of shirts. You can, like, give us money. If you you want got CDs, yeah. right? If you want to give us money. I mean, we'll our old it. CDs. We've already given so many out for free. But, yeah. Dick move to sell if you want to buy it, I'd love that. You wanna we sell them, like, we, we sold a few sometimes, but not for much, like two bucks or something. But uh, as for finding us, I believe Instagram at Endostalgia, Twitter at Endostalgia, Facebook at Endostalgia. All, All pretty hailed. simple. That's usually not a word that's taken, so we can just grab just on Nostalgia. Yeah. Smell smiting. Smell smoke. What does endostalgia mean for those that don't know already? I don't even And know. how did you find this Ooh. word? That word uh was just something that randomly popped into my high brain. Yeah, he gets he gets high and then he thinks of stuff. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. sir. <laughs> just like anybody what, else. What you smoking? <laughs> you smoking that that sherm? Endostalgia. I was smoking some endostalgia. And that then, uh, endo. You smoking that endo? Endostalgia. <laughs> and the next thing I knew, I was like, bro, endostalgia. <laughs> nice. Dude. But uh, yeah, the easiest way to sum it up, I guess, is uh, everyone these days loves nostalgia. We're all so nostalgia yeah. based. It's almost as if we were born with it. So it's like, you know, endoskeleton Nostalgia. <laughs> no skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> endo skeleton. It's like you know, it's like in you. Nostalgia. Well, smell. That smoke. is what you think of when you hear endo. You guys Dakota are literally the oh, only thing that endo. pops up when yeah. you look up endostalgia. So yeah. you like legit made up a word. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Smell smell. You should seriously I mean, try to get it uh, added to the dictionary. Ooh, that's, a, that's idea. a good idea. That would be really good. Be that cool. would be like a good. We have, to, we have to come up with what it means. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> outside mean? skeleton. Uh, it's a fucking <laughs> born of loving nostalgia. Or submit it to like uh, like what is that? Uh, Urban Dictionary. Oh, Urban Dictionary would probably be easier. 
just to get a fake look meme. Morgan Dictionary would be pretty. Easy look up Alaskan to pipeline. Either. No. <laughs> look up Alaskan. Stop I know it. what this is. You've told me, and I'm not wanting What's to read an it. Alaskan pipeline. Oh my God, we're not going to discuss <laughs> Where this. Where you go sledding? Yeah, Richard Alaska. Patrick uh, wants me to ask you about all that stuff. What? Uh, look up Alaskan pipeline. What's that? He told Let's, Let's not. Luca's do got that. screenshots. He's um, got it ready. Ew. <laughs> oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> no. Some, let's some not. Some screenshots? Um. Some screenshots. Yeah, let's not do that. Not of do what? That. The Alaskan this is pipeline? A PG podcast. No, it's it's <laughs> it's what we want game. it to be. Um, <laughs> That's nothing. He's it's a dude bowling. Why are you showing him a dude bowling? <laughs> just <laughs> eat, yeah. It's a dude bowling. It's disgusting. Is it gonna change on me? Nice. You scare me. Nice. It's just a dude He's bowling. fucking combing his fro, bruh. Yeah. It's uh the Alaskan pipeline bowling team. I know the Alaskan <laughs> bullworm. <laughs> yeah. The Alaskan Alaskan bull bull whip. <laughs> 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 That's funny. What is that show called? I have no idea. Drawn together. That's so after together. after don't make July, me kick your ass. don't make me suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> after July sixth, after you have officially released um, Dose, is there planning for any touring? Oh God, we don't have any money. Yeah. We have you guys have. ever toured? No. No. We played like two shows in a weekend. If that counts. <laughs> that was the closest we got. <laughs> <laughs> we went home in the middle of it. That's funny. Would you like to tour? We would love to, but yeah. We would like to, but yeah, we'd all have, we'd just have to situate it job wise, time off. We tried to plan it one time, the guy on the yeah. bear. but we didn't know like how to contact like other cities and find out either who to play with or or like where to play with or who, where to play. You know. I gotcha. Sure, you right, right, right. <laughs> well, I'm really excited for those to come out, and I know that we have one track left to play tonight, which will go out. Uh, listening to at the end of the night. But before we wrap it up, uh, just a few announcements hey, before yeah. the next show that we do here, just so we can uh, get people uh, up to date with things. Um, our friends in Tanzan and Orinaco are opening up on Sunday for extortionist and betraying so the martyrs with for, the browning for in taco. at the Forge. <laughs> Still selling tickets, so you should hit e- up either one of those bands if you're interested in going to that. Um, also wanted to put out that, um, <laughs> the brand new Portals CD is out. Portals. Coming up. Portals. Portals. Uh, you're interested Get in picking that up. Portals. You should. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what you, uh, think. Get this but the, the album artwork we shared <laughs> on our, our Facebook page, if you're interested in, in seeing what that looks like, I'm trying to find the exact date for it. Hold on. Um, it comes out this Friday, the twelfth. It's called Desolation. Uh, no, that's uh. Is that yes. the portal? Uh, Desolation out. That's so. That's a squanch. Yes, Greg. Um, our friends in <laughs> Fool's Brew Barrier passed what lies ahead, and Atlanta's Burning's playing Rock House this coming weekend on Saturday. You should check that out. That's an awesome lineup. Um, be sure to also check out. Oh Jesus! There's so much going on here. Guys, what are you doing? Looking um, at Rambo pictures. So our friends in of John J. Rambo. Sound of Fire actually First blood. posted uh, the Yeah Right World Tour First is happening, blood. and they actually just got sponsored by Dirtbag Clothing. Dirt they bag asked, clothing. what does that mean? Dirt and it means that the band will not be <laughs> naked, at least on stage. Wait, who's not going to be naked? I want to know Sound so I don't go, I want to see him naked. Sound of Fire. That's my, um, I'm boycotting. More news from our friends in Portals are opening up for Signs of the Storm, Depths of Hatred, and Centennials, May 9th at the Forge, so you should hit them up if you're interested in going for tickets. And uh, on the 20th, there is a Warforged music video being filmed in Chicago. If you're interested, all you need is a phone camera. Uh, Tell the band that you're interested, and they will give you... Um, more information as to how you can be huh. in their video. Uh, this weekend at Bottom Lounge on the 13th, Dead Ships Growing, Synovial, and Dear Deadly. It's an old just show. Deadly. You should check that out. Synovial is the best band in the world. Synovial is us. Awesome. Um, I just <laughs> read that um, 
<laughs> Kuma's Corner has one of the um Sinovio burger out of 17 <laughs> of the most influence uh, influential burgers of all time. They made number 16 with their ghost burger. Oh, does it come with the porter? I need a porter with my burger. Have I don't you ever fucking know. It's you ever because <laughs> it's because they had that um wafer on have it. you ever oh. the ghost burger brand? Yeah. Have you had that one? They the haven't uh, ghost, brought no. it back. I usually get the, uh, the Mastodon. The Mastodon one. It has <laughs> barbecue sauce on it. <laughs> and the I love Mastodon. Myself. Also wanted to yeah, point out that uh, Luca's band Architects of Ruin released a new track this weekend off their upcoming Shit. EP Close to the Green. You should uh, check that out on their SoundCloud. And then also, um, what date is this? April 19th, our friends in Bloodletter are playing Penny Road Pub with Vicious Attack and Adversa. And then there's a couple more things going on Why? here. Um, Flashburner just released their brand new uh, album today. You can uh, get it off of their website. The link is on their Facebook page. And Fuck this yeah. Saturday is uh, John yeah. from Everything Must Die's birthday. It's their show at Hattricks with The Crown Lies Heavy. And uh, that is going to be $5, 21 and up. And Hattricks is up in Kenosha. So you should check out Everything Must Die. They're pretty Perfect. fucking awesome. Uh, that's all I got. So next week on our show, we're going to be Brutal. welcoming. I've got to look who's, up. who's up next week, Ray Ray? Next week on yeah, our show, it, we're going to have Axis Swine. Axis Swine. Axis Swine. So they're a, a band. They're a couple guys. They're a one's, band. one's from Lake Geneva. One's from Wait, we're having Mount a band Prospect. on the show? Yeah, we're what? having a band. From what? Lake when did we start Geneva? having bands on the show? Oh we're just a gosh. comedy act. We're not even a band. <laughs> no, the comedy X? act is Greg's face. X. <laughs> and you can't oh. even, you can't oh, even oh, see oh, that oh, because oh. we're radio. That is fighting words. It's okay. Axe of swine. Axe of swine. Swine flu? I guess. Where'd you get that hat, H1N1. Greg? <laughs> yeah, where did you get that hat? Yeah, How where'd you get that, that fucking at? goofy leather hat from? <laughs> where'd you get like <laughs> a asshole? My like mother a leather bought fedora. me this. I didn't know that was a thing. How old is that my hat, mother, My mother bought me this hat, and uh, she got it. Before. Wasn't that after your first one was stolen? Yeah, I lost Somebody my Somebody stole one of hat. those? No, I lost <laughs> it in the uh, Asley Dying Mosh Pit as I... Oh. Crowd surfed over it and fell into the. Pit. Why are you trying to be Freddy Krueger? Wait a uh, minute, <laughs> that's a new hat since Friday. That no, before <laughs> when they played in Tinley. So they that thing, like the the original one's in the garbage. So right. the fact that you could even find another leather hat like that is yeah, just. It took, it took a long time to find it. It's just. I bet. It took 14 years to find it. Years. Luco's mom bought it for My me mom bought for it for our anniversary. Him. She's like, hey. <laughs> she was like, hey, I want you to look like a total doofus. It's seriously <laughs> like if yeah. Indiana Jones went gay. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, well. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Rob Halford would love that. Hey. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> oh, Greg. <laughs> Jesus. I do apologize for Greg's antics and his goofy leather hat. I think he's funny. <laughs> Fuck you, Colombo. You're a piece of shit. You were Fuck better you, Greg, as Umbo. a Norwegian Viking. Fuck you, Valentumbo. Well, there's one sure last enough. track to, to share with you all from the upcoming album, Dose for My Nostalgia. Yeah. And uh, thank you again for coming on for your third time. No Very course, awesome that... After four years, we're still in all communication. And that is cool. Still rocking out. Still, still rocking, rocking it, making out. awesome music. Props to, to, to Jake for the recording because you guys Jake's sound fucking man. awesome. Um, I love you, Jake Farhang. <laughs> so the last track that we're going to play tonight, what is that? That's entitled Fuck. And that fuck. song is just one of our heaviest songs. And uh, it's not spelled like your typical fuck. No. I thought we spell it because we're stupid. Yeah, we're <laughs> stupid. I didn't say that, but um, <laughs> I said that. <laughs> what What is that about? That song is about being frustrated and getting pissed off, and then also about sexually being frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Not necessarily. Well, that is implied. Like, it could, yeah, it could be like that, but <laughs> mainly just like in life. Stop talking about me, Greg. <laughs> I saw that. And uh, yeah, that's fuck for you. <laughs> I'm pissed. And yes. any any last words yes. for our listeners before we uh, play fuck tonight? Any shout outs? Uh, I want to shout out uh, Camille because we love Camille. 
chameleon. And then uh, and uh, Leo sucks. And Leo sucks. Leo does suck. Yeah, he sucks. It's a reverse <laughs> shout out. Yeah. Okay. A reverse <laughs> shout out. <laughs> reverse shout out. <laughs> One of them reverse shout outs. And cool, then. Cool, uh, cool. And then shout out to the Metal Experience, man. Oh. Helping keep metal alive. Hell yeah. Shout out back. God damn it. Hell We're yeah. still 20, doing it. I respect 27 it. 27 years. <laughs> I'd like Somehow to, I, I came straight out of the womb with a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to Luca's mom. Hey. And hey, what up, mom? <laughs> We're wrapping She's up this interview. Bottom. Greg doesn't need a microphone. Like, thanks thanks like for the, the shout out, Greg. I, like I love his mom. I like Luca's mom, and I yeah. Way, or we do it What's it gonna be, Luca's mom? She prefers the hard the way. Well, is here is Luca's the last mom. track <laughs> of the night. That that go, that's good. That works in the uh, fun. Yeah. It's time to Luca's mom. <laughs> yeah, oh my yeah. gosh, what is I this becoming? I want, I want, I like man's butt. Greg wants man fuck. Like so it. here is the I last like end of track. More important than water. Thank you. More important than water. Thank you. Next week, don't forget, come out to put the spare keys. We are in nostalgia. Booty Here we go. Is more Here is than fuck Booty from is nostalgia off is the upcoming the album. Dopes. When I see a band member I like, I look him in his eyes and, and I say, ignore Greg. Good I night. Likes Just